Hi folks, this is Justin for CG Talk Plus, and in this uh, video I'm gonna try to explain to you uh, the most commonly used uh, tools and shortcuts in Modo uh, for my uh, <coughs> video uh, modeling an iPod. So uh, let me just uh, start here with a, with a cylinder and actually let's start from the beginning uh, first of all to to pan the viewport uh, I'm using the left mouse button and shift and alt both pressed that uh, this way I can panel the viewport and to uh, rotate around the view uh, an object or the viewport I just hold down alt and um, using the left mouse button again I rotate around uh, one thing you might want to check is under the shaded button over here uh, maybe you have trackball rotation checked well this uh, this changes the the way your viewport rotates and <clears throat> if you're gonna see this video and you uh, you start um, to do this you're gonna see that it rotates in a different way well that's because trackball rotation is ticked so if you untick that uh, it goes back to normal well yeah so uh, how to create a default uh, mesh for these shapes well you just hold down control and you press um, press the, the tool uh, same for the sphere same for the cylinder. I'm not sure if, if it's the same for the uh, cone. Yeah, it's the same. Okay, so <coughs> let's start with the cylinder. Now, um, <coughs> another uh, common uh, command is how to grow a rotation, uh, a selection. Sorry. Well, you just select one polygon and then you hold down Shift and using the <coughs> up arrow key you can uh, grow the selection the same if you wanna shrink the selection but you use the the down arrow okay um, let me remove these edges real quick also uh, to loop a selection you just hit L on the keyboard and to remove some edges or some uh, vertex points you just use backspace okay now um, <clears throat> uh, how to use the loop slice tool well this is fairly simple you just select a few polygons in the direction you want to slice and you just hit all C and click in the viewport and you get a slice okay now how to smooth a uh, uh, polygon using tab you can smooth a polygon using tab and you can change the subdivision level on the right side here um, let's say we want this actually let's subdivide this a bit we're gonna use I'm sorry sub SDS subdivide uh, by, we're gonna press the D key and it's gonna subdivide it or if we don't want to like uh, subdivide it and smooth it we can just use shift D and it's gonna it's gonna open up a uh, <coughs> uh, kinda like a settings uh, window for the subdivide so if you wanna face it there we go now we can smooth it and also subdivide it and then smooth it so this is the subdivision level 2 and if we want we can change it to 1 or to 4 depends on your object okay let me think now uh, another commonly used uh, shortcut is the create new mesh um, shortcut well you can create a new mesh by uh, <coughs> clicking on this uh, menu and it's gonna pop up um, a bunch of other commands such as lights, backdrops, camera, locators 
and you just you just want to create a mesh. Well, I don't go to the menu and just click mesh. You can simply press N and it will automatically create a new mesh. Okay, uh <coughs> another uh, commonly used command would be the bevel tool which you can access by pressing B and you gotta make sure you have group polygons ticked okay and you can bevel however you want or uh, let's say if you wanna bevel again uh, you don't need to press the B key again because it will bring you out of the menu you just press the B key do whatever you wanna do and then hold down shift click once and you can do it again. Now, <clears throat> another uh, command would be the slice tool. Let's just clear this out. And the slice tool, it's simple. It's Shift C, <clears throat> and you make a slice uh, wherever you want. So. And also, you can drop a tool. Let's say you have the slice command checked. You can drop a tool by pressing the space bar once and tools dropped. <laughs> Funny how this um, smooths out. Okay. Um, what else? Let me just uh, look. Uh, these are uh, commands. You have the shortcuts of the commands over here, but I, I just showed you the ones that uh, that I use. Oh, and also for um, the edge slice, which is basically uh, how you cut up a mesh. Well, you just press C and you just uh, click wherever you wanna put the vert, and you just drag. And Moto has a feature that the point that you wanna create it. So let's say you wanna connect. Uh, this point with this point. Well, you don't really need to click on it. You can just click on the edge and then drag it until it sticks to that point. There we go. And we have a cut. Uh, what else? Well, I don't really use uh, uh, any more commands in this uh, in the iPod tutorial except that let's say uh, you want to move something well you can just use the element move tool which is uh, T and you can find it in the deform panel and the element move tool you can select everything from polygons, edges, points yeah okay and I think this is it also, you can switch between verticals, edges, polygons, and items using uh, the keys one, two, three, and four. But I don't, I don't use them. I just go ahead and click them. And you can switch between viewports using the pie menu, which is Control and Spacebar, and then you uh, drag the mouse uh, to to the uh, viewport you wanna look through. And I guess this is it. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the iPod tutorial. Or if you didn't watch it, I hope you will enjoy it. And I guess I'll see you soon.